Tadow! How you like me now? I'm in the mix. A San Antonio man throws an axe at a moving train, which bounces back and hits him in the head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing this weekend, but how would you like to just hang out at the train tracks and wait for the train to come by and, and hit it with an axe? <laughs> no, no, shouldn't we use the axe to chop wood? Oh, what are you, you're gonna chop wood? What are you, a wuss? No, chop trains. Be a, be a man up and chop some trains with me. <laughs> but even if we chop up a train, we can't use it for firewood. No, no, that's not the point. The, the point is just to see if you could chop up a train today. It's, it's all about, it's all in the triceps. This is a good workout, <laughs> if you live through it. Uh, shout out to my man Jay in Sacramento for sending me this article. Uh, Jay smokes a lot of weed and this one really made him laugh and it made me laugh too. Because how do you get, I mean this is just ridiculous behavior and uh, you know, just when I think people are as dumb as they can be, they get dumber all the time. Dumber. Is there like dumb juice that's been leaking, seeping into our, uh, into our water? That's what I want to know. <laughs> dumb juice. <laughs> I'm dumb. Myself. A man taken into custody by authorities after San Antonio police said he threw an axe at a moving train, causing the conductor to stop the train. Police said the incident happened at uh, the intersection of Frio City Road and Brady Boulevard. If you guys give a shit. Any of you guys live in San Antonio? Is this kind of a thing that you do in San Antonio on a Thursday night? Just get together and try and chop trains with an axe. <laughs> what is going on? You throw spears at axes? I mean, at axes. You throw spears at trains as they go by? When the man threw the axe, police said it bounced off the train and hit him in the head. Did, did it kill him? I mean, being hit in the head with an axe, that's gotta do some damage. He deserved it, by the way, but it's f for sure deserved it. Maybe not deserved to die, but yeah, yeah, you know what? Deserved to die. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that. The conductor told the police he stopped the train after believing that he had hit somebody instead, but he said them. after that the man lived, apparently, he, he ran down Brady Boulevard and, and was found by emergency medical services lying on the ground. The man later told Union Pacific investigators that he was actually standing on the railroad tracks swinging the axe when he was hit by the train. What a, what a place to swing an axe, what are you, stupid? Where would I swing an axe? I mean, first of all, why swing an axe? What are you, what's wrong with you? Are you that bored you're gonna swing an axe? Put the axe to use. Don't just swing it randomly. What, do you, what kind of maniac are you? And then you don't do it on the train tracks. Look it. We've been told our whole lives by, my, by our mothers not to play on the train tracks. Just sitting on the train tracks. Doing anything. Playing with a yo-yo on the train. Nothing. Don't, don't be on the train tracks. Swinging an axe on the train tracks. What is wrong with you? Drugs involved, guys. Drugs involved in this. They're not saying that in the article, but I'm going to tell you, it doesn't take a... It doesn't take a CSI detective to tell you that this guy's on major drugs, swinging an axe on the train tracks. Just like, unbelievable. He was transported to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. He will later be evaluated physically and mentally. He should be evaluated mentally. Physically, I mean, I think we know. That's, that's easy. Mentally, we need to get to the bottom of this. This is a mental disorder of some sort. A new addiction, maybe? <laughs> I can picture a new... <laughs> A new pill coming out onto the market. Do you <laughs> do you feel compelled to swing an axe at ongoing large vehicles? Well, take Train Volta or some dumb name. That was terrible. I shouldn't even said that. I'm sorry. Sometimes my improv is not funny. I'm not gonna lie to you. you know, look, I never said I was the best. Ah, you know, I never did that. Also, uh, did I forget to tell you that it's uh, it's the weekend? I think I did. I'm going to tell you in the next segment.